A giant robot is entering the world of Fortnite. I'm not even joking. Take a look on screen here. This thing is absolutely massive. Today we've got details of in-game images, uh, updates that are going to be happening over the final few weeks of Season 9, leading up to the start of Season 10, which not only link in this brand new crazy huge robot, but also the monster that's been in Polar Peaks and circling the map ever since the beginning of the season. And we have so much information, it is absolutely insane. Hit that like button to make sure you're protected when the giant robot eventually comes to the world of Fortnite because this thing is huge, this thing is dangerous, and you don't want to get squished by it. Seriously, hitting the like button is the best thing you can do on these videos, so I thank you very, very much to all of you guys that do it. And without further ado, let's get into all the juicy information about robots, monsters, and everything that's happening in Fortnite. So in case you didn't know already, last week's update, this week's update, and the next week's update are all content update, which means at the flick of a switch, Fortnite will enable something new into the game. This week, it's going to be the drum shotgun, which we've talked about already, and it's basically going to be available in grey, green, and blue, and it's going to be very, very fun to use. So make sure you're subscribed right here on the channel, not only the latest news, but also the latest gameplay in Fortnite as well. But ultimately, with these new updates being available as content updates, it means that a lot of files are in the world of Fortnite, ready to be decrypted to give us little bits of information, letting us know what's happening in the future. The first piece of information we've got came in the form of a challenge that will be available in the coming weeks of Fortnite Season 9. The challenge is one of the Fortnite challenges and it reads as follows, accessible inside a robot factory. However, there isn't a robot factory on the map at the moment. Now, through a few glitches and things that I don't really understand, the Fortnite was managed to be forced into its location and seeing on screen here, you can see that the Fort Bight is sitting very clearly in the brand new newly constructed bunker area of the pressure plant. Instantly this leads to question of why is it a robot factory? What is being built there? Multiple robots? One giant robot? Well we've got the answers as even more information has started to come in. So literally just yesterday Fortnite slyly added in a few extra files into the game which once decrypted gives us an actual image of what's going on with this robot and the robot factory. Thanks to Fort Tory that has done a lot of diving and digging in game, we can see on screen here the very first image of a part of the robot. Yes, this is a foot of the robot and very specifically is the left foot of this robot that's going to be constructed. Obviously the construction is happening at the pressure plant and once the doors open up and the bunker is actually formed and things start to happen even more in the coming weeks and the updates in the world of Fortnite, the construction of the robot will start to assemble. We've also got information of the different parts, the size, and how it's going to link in with the finale of this season. Now, one thing I want to admit that I was wrong about, and I think everyone was wrong about, is the fact that this season's battle pass didn't give away anything to do with the ending of this season or even the next season. As almost everything in the battle pass related to something that was already in the game or what had been in the game in the past. But with the spray that I've just shown you that it's going to be used actually in the new robot factory area once it's finally constructed, constructed in a future update in the next few days or weeks, you need the bot spray. So sat in front of us the whole time for this season was the robot spray. Not telling us that there are bots in Fortnite and using it as a bot spray in Fortnite, but was actually predicting the future of a robot that would ultimately be built right at the end of the season. Fortnite is so sneaky, man. That literally snuck completely under my radar, but I love the fact that there are still hints, there are still teasers, sat in the battle pass that will always tell us a bit about about the future if you look hard enough and if you know what you're looking for. On top of that, the secret image, which is ultimately being decrypted at the moment with all of the Fort Bites, also told us a little bit about what's to come. And there's so much going on in the image here on screen. You've got the cube, you've got the power plant, you've got the monster, which we haven't seen obviously in its full form, but we've seen the eye at Polar Peaks and we've seen it floating around the map. Uh, and all of this has been shown in the image and people thought, well, maybe that's it. However, also noticed by Fort Tor, if you have a look here on the left hand side it's a giant crane with what looks to be something dangling off that crane and uh, it looks like a giant head almost like a teddy bear head a rather mean teddy bear head but ultimately could actually be telling us that in fact a robot will be constructed this season and the crane is actually the head portion of the robot being put together now talking about parts of the robots we know which ones are going to be coming and what order they're going to be coming in. through much decryption we have got ourselves left foot which i've just shown you guys right foot 
left leg, right leg, the body, the left arm, the right arm, and obviously the final construction of any giant robot is placing the head on it so it starts to come alive. That is right, the construction of a full-on robot with roughly eight parts, meaning that if these get added in every two or three days or so, the final construction of the robot will be just before the end of the season, which is very, very exciting. But why is there a giant robot being constructed at pressure plant? There's not a rocket like we thought. What is going on? What's the reasoning for a giant freaking robot? Well, it all relates to the beginning of the season with the monster. And as I showed you right at the beginning, if we do a little bit of a size comparison, uh, this foot is absolutely ginormous. Comparing it to a person, to a car, this thing is probably, I don't know, 20, 30 times bigger. It's absolutely huge. If we compare it, in fact, to the uh, castle that was on the back of the monster as he swam around the map, it's a similar size, but it's not quite a good comparison because that was simply used as an item off of the map. No one is ever going to get close to it. Size comparisons for that aren't quite as accurate because if we go ahead and actually compare it to the foot of the monster, it's a little bit smaller than the monster, according to these in-game comparisons uh, as found by Tasty on Twitter. But what we can get from this is just the scale and the proportions of both the monster and the robot are absolutely massive. Now, going all the way back to some of the very first videos I ever did about the monster, uh, it was found within in-game files listed under as Catus. Catus, I believe, is an Italian or Spanish word simply meaning cat, um, but ultimately was the code name for this creature and the monster that we've seen so far. But in those same in-game files, we also had Dogus, which is uh, another dog, a cat and a dog, but we'd had no reference of this dog or this code name dog until now because all of the robot files have actually been put under the code name Dogus, which means these two creatures are set for a giant brawl. Code name Catus, aka the monster, codenamed Dogus, aka this future robot that's going to be built, are ultimately going to have a showdown of all showdowns. And if these things fully go head to head on the map in Fortnite, I mean, that is going to be one of the greatest gaming spectacles of all time. And as we know in past events within Fortnite, we always have some crazy live event which goes on, which the whole of the world can watch. And I'm hoping it'll be available to watch, just like all the others, as a giant battle as we see these two giant creatures battle it out for ultimate supremacy as the robot standing for all civilization and the sort of secret government uh, uh, people on the Fortnite map. And then this monster just wants to destroy absolutely everything. We really want to be inside of Dogus, of the robot, if we want to save all humanity in the world of Fortnite. Now the final thing I want to talk about is posters that should start to pop up around the Fortnite map leading up to and revolving around this huge event. We've got several ones. First one being when danger strikes take the high ground. No doubt us as the actual players on the map, getting away from this giant battle, getting away from the creature, and uh, using the brand new abilities to get around the map in Season 9 as a way to get out of cover. We've also got Duck and Hover, which could potentially mean that the jetpack will return at least for potentially the live event or closer to the event as a way of us to hover around the map. Maybe we actually are getting involved in shooting and taking down the monster ourselves as well. And then the final one at the moment that we've got is We Can Build It, um, which actually could mean that we are helping in the construction of this robot and the several parts, meaning that just like a lot of interactive events in the past, just like the mines and, and the construction areas in the last season where we have to break all the rocks, maybe we are actually going to be helped construct the robot instead. So creating rather than destroying this season. Very, very cool. Keep an eye out for it. And it all looks like all of these things are coming together for a crazy, crazy season nine finale, which I cannot wait to get involved with. Cannot wait to see build up over the final few weeks of this season. And oh boy, do you want to make Make sure you're subscribed to see everything up to date as it all happens. Now on screen here you can check out Claire and I's proposal video. It actually went live over on our joint channel, the Claire and Ali channel, which if you haven't subscribed to, we try and put up weekly videos from myself and Claire. Uh, you can watch the full engagement video and how the proposal exactly went down on screen. So definitely go and check it out. Definitely go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I really hope you enjoy it. And apologies in advance if you do shed a tear. It is quite emotional, I can't lie. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Crazy times ahead. This is the best place to be to stay up to date with all the latest news and information and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye. At the end of this video I'm going to do a load of special thank yous to all of you guys using code Allier in the Fortnite store during the 14 days of summer. We've had so many crazy skins and it's not over yet with even more awesome ones to come so make sure you're spending two seconds going into the store entering a creator code. Mine is A-L-I-A -A, and if you do it drop me a tweet, drop me a picture on Instagram or let me know down below in the comments. You could get a shout out just like all of these guys on screen so thank you again 
Really, really appreciate it. You know I've got to be buying all those skins. I know you guys are buying those skins and I want to make sure that you guys are being thanked properly for using my code. But thank you guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out our proposal video if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.